There are many reasons that I decided to join Toastmasters. One, I was always curious what you guys were laughing and clapping about down here. <laughs> <laughs> what could possibly be so exciting at 7.30 in the morning? I expected drudgery. <laughs> <laughs> Two, I knew I needed to practice speaking in public. I was going to have to learn it eventually. And three, my boss strongly suggested that it would benefit both my professional and personal lives. Until recently, I didn't really understand what I was getting myself into. This past weekend, I had the pleasure of attending our Toastmasters Leadership Institute in Colorado Springs with Greg, our incoming president. Today, I want to tell you a little bit about what I learned during this insightful experience. We started off with introductions of area and director, um, sorry, area and division directors around the room. It astonished me that so many people come from all over with the same goals in mind. This really showed me that not only do I have every single one of you standing behind me, but the entirety of Toastmasters International. I could go pretty much anywhere in the world and find a Toastmaster if I needed help with something. Next, we listen to a keynote presentation by a guy named Mitch. Mitch has been a Toastmaster for 30 years. <laughs> he explained to us all the reasons that he continues after more years than some of us have been alive to enjoy <laughs> and excel at Toastmasters. This really inspired me to reevaluate my goals and interests for being a Toastmaster. I realized that I'm not just here to practice public speaking. I'm here to discover myself, to build lasting friendships, and to hear each and every one of your stories. Not to mention a consistent evaluation of my speaking behaviors and a, a, a chance to practice my organization and leadership skills. During the next part of the TLI, we split into groups based on our officer positions. As the seventh of seven officer positions, the sergeant at arms group didn't really need a full hour to, to discuss our training. Our moderator, an older ex-military German man, his name was Max, <laughs> told us a lot of stories about his beehives and his homemade shops. That was pretty interesting. We also went around the room introducing ourselves and telling a little bit about our clubs. I realized that we have it pretty easy here at Toast, uh, Pikes Peaks Toastmasters because we have a steady location with a convenient storage area. Some of the other Toastmasters, the Sergeant at Arms, they have to bring all their materials with them and they have to come to their meeting ahead of time and that just doesn't work for my schedule. Never on time. <laughs> We converged all the groups together and told the two most important parts of our um, officer position. The sergeant at arms stressed the importance of organization and atmosphere, which as Alex told us is our two of my main goals in my professional life in general. <laughs> it was really great to see all the other positions though because I saw that there are other positions that I could choose to join if I wanted to and I saw skills that I'm good at in each of those positions. To close the TLI, there were four simultaneous educational presentations. I chose to attend one called Principled Leadership. I expected specific strategies and skills for leadership, but instead Frank's presentation focused on the importance of understanding personalities and behavioral traits as a way of getting to know people and getting to work easier with people. This is something that we focus on here at the Foundation, so it's something that I already understood pretty well. But it's always nice to have a reminder to look into people's personalities. For anyone wondering, although Greg and I have very different adjectives on our table, we are both pretty balanced. And I'll be sure to use that as we move forward. <laughs> as I ran out the door onto my next event, I couldn't help but replay certain parts of the day in my mind. I see different things, many aspects of Toastmasters in a different light now. I don't just see Toastmasters staring back at me to see budding friendships. And considering I'm not crying right now, <laughs> I'm gaining confidence in myself. I can't wait to see what Toastmasters has in store for me next.